Jomu High Circular Toilet is a robust flush and forget system that tackles two key user concerns, stains and odours. When the toilet lid is lifted, the bowl rotates. Water is drawn from a tank in the back unit to the rear of the bowl. A spreader disperses the liquid as it slowly cascades onto the impact zone for two to three seconds, pre-wetting the bowl and the pan below. This process reduces the stickiness of the bowl surface and creates a more hygienic user experience. With this flush and forget design, as the lid closes, the solids drop into the pan. This initiates a cleaning stage. A small pump pulls water from the tank to a jet nozzle. And a flat spray pattern is activated for five to eight seconds to remove stubborn stains inside the bowl. An alternative dry option to the jet spray is the swipe. This option can clean the bowl in the event that no water or membrane distillation functionality is available. The toilet has also been designed to limit unwanted smells. The lid creates the first barrier, while the bowl mechanism seals off odours from the back end of the unit. Instant separation of liquid from solids via a screw and filtration system also minimises odours. In the event of an electrical shortage or blackout, the toilet can still be used. Liquids are pumped up to a holding tank which is big enough to service a family of 6 to 10 people for 24 hours. The Jomu High Circular Toilet, a self-sealing system that controls odour with optimal water use that maximises cleaning. The liquids waste module has been designed to clean and recirculate liquids within the toilet. In the lower tank, liquids are immediately separated via a filtration mesh. The liquids are pumped to two tanks above. A two-stage filtration process removes toilet paper and small solid lumps. It relies on gravity to move liquids, meaning no electrical consumption. A float sensor in the top tank detects any blockage within the filter meshes. Turning on and off the ball valves will purge the system and divert any blockages back to the front of the toilet. In the event of a more serious blockage, the tanks can easily be accessed by a service provider. This simple process means the liquid that now moves onto the membrane distillation unit is paper and colloid free, prolonging the lifespan of the membranes. Membrane distillation is a thermally driven process in which separation is directed by phase change. The liquid is batch heated before entering the membrane unit. The process is driven by a partial vapour pressure difference, created by a temperature disparity between the feed of heated liquid and distillate streams. Only water in the vapour phase passes through the hydrophobic membrane's pores. Concentrated urine, which builds up in the hot tank, is diverted back to the lower tank. This innovative membrane distillation unit offers various benefits and complies with international standards. When the pathogen-free vapour exits the membrane, it is cooled, condensed and stored in a distillate tank. It is then either reused in the cold loop of the membrane distillation process or passed through a carbon filter and stored for use in the pre-wetting and cleaning processes. The Solid Waste and Emission Processing Module turns toilet solids, hygiene products, paper and byproducts of the liquid processing system into inert material, vapour and water. As the toilet lid is closed, the back end modules are activated. Waste passes slowly from the tank into the screw. Most liquids will be separated immediately and pumped through the liquid's port at the base. The screw turns at 5 to 10 RPM, draining liquids trapped in the paper or solids by gravity, requiring low power consumption. By avoiding maceration, no unnecessary colloids enter the liquid process. 
A hydrophobic stainless steel wire mesh filter makes direct contact with the screw, through which liquids can drain. Most of the paper pulp does not pass through and so is removed from the liquid process. As the screw rotates, the mesh is scraped clean. The drainage of liquids also aids cleaning. The mesh is quick release and can be easily cleaned or replaced. The entire screw has been designed for simple access in the event of trapped objects, repair or replacement. The solids are pushed via the screw to the dryer and dropped to its base. A vertical conveyor slowly rotates. The chain mounted to the conveyor picks up wet solids from the base of the dryer, trapping it in the gaps between the chains. The dryer pulls ambient air into the unit to dry the solids. The chain completes a rotation every 24 hours using minimal energy. The solids dry out evenly. These pellets are ejected from the chain link by a sprocket arrangement and are moved via an auger into the combustor. Inside the chamber, the solids are heated to 400 to 700 degrees. An igniter and airflow design control the oxygen ingress to the combustor to optimise and maximise the burn process. All gases produced in the process are sent to an emission management module before being vented out to the atmosphere. The solids are converted into inert material, which is then transferred through a mesh into a hold cup. This can be easily removed, allowing for disposal of the ash. This innovative toilet system delivers an affordable, user-friendly solution, driving improvements in hygiene and well-being in rural communities, with the potential to transform the lives of millions of people.